Hello everyone, my name is Maxim VDW, and today I want to introduce you to a new feature called the Translation feature. Uh, the Translation feature is a feature introduced in Featherboard 2.13, um, but despite that this video is made for Featherboard, uh, the same feature applies to Action Bar, uh, Title Limit to the Advanced, Tap, and my other animation plugins. So. The first thing you will notice is that there is a new placeholder. So I'm going to parse it, featherboard parse local short. So what this returns is uh, a two letter, uh, two letters of your language of your Minecraft client language. Uh, previously, you had the local placeholder, which returned um, the uh, full uh, local. So like English from the UK, English from uh, US. Uh, but the short version just returns the uh, two first uh, country code letters. You also uh, you could use the country code uh, placeholder, but currently it won't work for me because I'm running this locally and it needs your uh, global uh, server IP, uh, your global client IP to locate your IP address and your location. Uh, but the, yeah, let's get into the configuration. So. Um, and we'll zoom in here. I'm going to start translating a few things. Uh, so let's start with player. So it's really easy to use. Just type translate from the language you're translating from, which is English, EN, uh, to, and I will use a placeholder for this, local short. Close the placeholder, close the uh, first uh, part of the tag and then close the tag with slash translate. And this, what this will do, it will translate uh, the words player from English to the Minecraft client language of the player. So for every player, uh, for, for every language uh, a player is using, this will be different. So I'm going to load this in, featherboard reload, and you will see that nothing has changed because I'm translating from English to English. But if I'm going to change my language here, here, and I'm going to change it to a German, for example, it always takes a while, then you will see it translated player to Spieler, um, which is German for player. If I'm going to change it again to something like um, Spanish, I think, Espanol, Okay, always takes a while the translating. And you will see Jugador um, for Spanish for player. I'm going to do the same thing for uh, my other lines. So I'm just going to copy this news and close it. Trend, oh, slash translate. Uh, let's do it for site, plate, and health as well. Uh, the performance of uh, this feature is rather well, so the first time it has to translate something, it will, um, well, it will contact Google Translate to translate it. Um, but the second time, if you have to translate the same thing, it will just use uh, the uh, translation that it has catched. So it won't like contact um, Google every time you uh, refresh the scoreboard or refresh the line. Um, okay, translate. I think currently uh, in this uh, development version, it doesn't work inside scrolling text, but uh, at launch it will most likely work, so you can use it uh, for scrolling text. Uh, note that it won't really work with like the colors because, um, well, it just sends the whole uh, text to Google Translate and returns the output, but Google Translate will do some strange things with it, so. Uh, don't use colors inside it. Uh, maybe split it up uh, in parts, but don't use it in a, in a whole sentence. And okay, save this. I'm going to uh, reload it. And normally it should translate all those lines. So yeah, my scoreboard is now translated into Spanish. I'm going to translate it to Dutch now, which is my uh, native language. Okay. Yes. 
and as you can see um, it translated my scoreboard so this is a really cool feature if you want to uh, translate your uh, scoreboard and yeah I personally I, I was I was really uh, looking forward to this feature uh, from the moment I started I, I thought of it but then uh, Google Translate introduced like uh, pay to uh, translate so you had to pay to translate things but uh, currently I found a solution to like bypass that a bit so uh, for now you can use this feature without limits uh, maybe in the future we might have to remove it or change it but as long as you can yeah I suggest using it um, I hope you liked the update uh, if you do uh, make sure to rate uh, I always like good reviews um, it really motivates me 